So today I'm going to be changing my heater switches in a Ford Transit Connect Mark II. These are the switches being changed. Mine work fine, apart from this one. This one has something snapped inside. That failed because I was trying to change the switches for some fancy red ones, trying to pull it off. That's why it failed, so it's my fault. I brought a second hand unit and now I'm going to try and work out how to get it off. I did look on the internet, I couldn't find a single video showing you how to do this. Because on first impression I thought I've got to get the stereo fascia out to get to the back of this. I actually realised that you've got to get all this out of the way to access this. If it's how I think it's going to be, it shouldn't be a big job. And you shouldn't need a lot of tools. Tool wise you're going to need a trim removal tool. And a set of Torx bits. So I'm going to try and do this one handed. First things first, we've got to get this up. Um, there we go. And out of the way. And then we've got two screws there. I think it looks like a T25. Yep. You've got to be so careful when you're doing these because I lose so many screws into the blooming voids. That's one out. Number two out. Hey up. So that came out a bit easier than I thought. So I yanked this bit up and then unclipped itself there. What we've got going on is so there's another clip there. And there is some kind of thing it locates on. Hey, that weren't too bad. Now looking at this, so I've got some more Torx bolts either side. Right, so these look like T20s. Now you've got to be careful of these because there's gaps down the back here and I know I'm going to lose them if I'm not careful. Lost you then folks, sorry about that. Right, that's undone, but it's trapped on by this fascia. Right. This is held on with like spring clips, so I've just forced them up. Right, and this comes back. So in the back here, so it's just the cables holding it on. There's a little press release under this one. I can feel that. There's another one further down. Oh, that's a bit fiddly, that one. Okay, let's do this one. No, this one's, this one's a, a push together, it's a pull apart one. Bottom one out. Yay! Oh. You alright folks? I got it out. I got it unplugged. It was that little bugger that was the hard one. It's like on this one. Like you've got to pull it that way. Right, so now that's, so now that's off. It doesn't screw in or anything. Literally it's just held in with clips. So you just get your trim tool and just just pry just pry it out. Nice and simple. So this is my broken one. You can hear there's something rattling inside it. Now look, I can show you. If I turn this middle knob, you can see it turning stuff. Yeah. If I do this one, it's it's not turning anything. The gears snapped inside it. I think. This is my replacement. Now, like everything, it's scutty and horrible. I need to give it a clean before I put it on. Look at it, it's minging. This is a problem buying second hand bits. They tend to be off vans that are knackered. So everything is old and used, dirty and scummy and horrible. Blech. But I've got a wet wipe wash, and that should kill any germies that are on there. Antiseptic wipes, not wet wipes, antiseptic wipes. Should hopefully kill the germies, make it look as good as new. There we go, that's a bit better. Right, let's plug it in 
and just check it's actually going to work. Right, so that one goes in there. That one goes in there. So, forward facing. Yeah, we've got forward air. Feet and forward. Feet only. And then we've got window screen and feet. Feet, yep. Window screen, yep. Full on window screen. Perfect. So we've got setting one, setting two. Setting three, setting four, that's good. So I'm going to show you how to rebuild it up. <laughs> I'm going to try and rebuild it up and show you as I go along. Hopefully it'll work. Right, so I'm happy with that. Turn this off. So I've just got to unplug it all. Always easier said than done. So this fascia, just drop that bottom side in. Push it in. Done. That's in. Nice and simple. So get all these plugs in. So you go, you line that up, get it underneath your fascia. Now mine's popped a clip, I'm gonna have to take this off now. You got these, these metal spring clips that hold it in. I'm gonna pull it out, one of them moves, and now that's not clipping back in, so I need to take that off. I'll do that later on. So we've got the four little black screws. So careful, make sure you don't drop them. Last one, number four. This one's gonna be the one I'm gonna drop. I can feel it now. Get in there. Come on. Tight, 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 tight. Now that's in, it's time to get this fascia back on. So down here, got a big poke out post to get that in first. I don't know what we do with this blue thing. Do you reckon that's supposed to come out? Yeah, right, blue thing. That's supposed to be slid in there. Look. It's supposed to be slid in there. So hook that corner in. Blue thing finds its little hole. That one goes in there. Push, 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 it's all clipped in. You got your two screws. Get those started. There we go, that's in. And then now, just this. So with this, just get the bottom side in. And then the top just pushes in. Boom. Job done. If you like this video, give it a like. If you're into micro campers, stealth camping, stuff like that, because that's what mine is, then subscribe.